Welcome to the Bioptimizer's awesome health podcast. And now here's your host, Wade T. Lightheart. What if you could double your energy naturally without caffeine or stimulants in just three short months? It's not only possible, you can transform every aspect of your health if you follow the 12-week blueprint we've created for you in the Awesome Health System. The Awesome Health System is a free course where you receive a daily video lesson spanning the most cutting-edge secrets for air, water, exercise, sunshine, optimizers, mindset, and education. It's something most companies would charge hundreds of dollars for, yet you get it for free when you go to buyoptimizers.com. To access your course, register to download the PDF report called Three Phases of Bioptimization, which gets you access to the report and daily access to the first lesson in the 12-week, 84-day Awesome Health course. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. It's Wayne T. Lightheart from Bioptimizers with another edition of the Awesome Health podcast. And today we are going to talk about some important topics called about nerve health, EMF stressors in mineral-rich soil. And our guest today is none other than Justin Franson, who is an athletic performance coach, author, and founder of athleticism.com and emfrocks.com. Starting in the late 1990s, Justin has worked his way through many of the best athletes in the world from most major sports and does nerve work for sports performance. He saw athletes breaking down from excess man-made EMF and look to nature to solve the challenge. His EMF rocks, grounding bags, are the most sought after natural protection of hand mind crystals to help with sleep, grounding, and recharging us from man-made EMF. He also has an array of curated health and performance products on athleticism.com to help the masses. And he's taken time out of his busy schedule to join us today. Justin, welcome to the podcast. How are you doing? Amazing. Thanks, Wade, for having me on. Great. So we met a uh, number of months ago at a biohacking conference, essentially, and uh, I got your EMF Rockways because I'm here in like EMF hell in Venice Beach, California. I'm just frequencies going through me, and I noticed a, uh, an improvement both in HRV and in uh, deep sleep, uh, and just you know biofeedback reported better when I started using your rocks, but how did you get into this whole concept and what were you seeing with athletes performance as we started kind of increasing EMF exposure exponentially over the last, you know, couple of decades? Well, I saw it coming on early on and I just felt the signals. I was one of the last guys to get a cell phone. I think early on when I was in college, I actually had a job making copies at a real estate firm and I was a runner at a big real estate firm. And so I was stuck in a copy machine and literally developed nerve pain in my fingertips from pulling papers off the copy machine. That's x-ray, that's radiation. And so from doing that for weeks on end, I developed that sensitivity in my fingertips and which is showing up now with all the touch, touch screen devices. But I saw it early on, I felt it, even talking on a, a corded phone felt really wonky to me. So I had that awareness, I call it a gift, a, a sensitivity as well to EMF. And as athletes started coming in, driving Teslas, wearing the wireless earbuds and wearing the wearable technology, the smartwatches, so-called, their bodies were breaking down, the fascia would break down, their bodies would break down in ways that I had never seen before. And I looked to clear the stressors. And when I said, hey, strong endurance athlete, take that smartwatch off your arm, their whole arm recovered without really having to do much therapy. It just, it was get rid of the stressors, they got better, really simple. And that's where we got into it. Well, you know, I think this is a really important concept uh, overarching for people to understand is that we've been primarily in athletic and our medical community been dealing with a perception of human physiology, which is biochemical, essentially, you know, you know, this chemical acts with this, that acts with that. So it's the denser part of our awareness of uh, human chemistry and human physiology and human biology. However, if you were to speak with a physicist, who's going to go down to another level, 
they would suggest that we're actually uh, mostly empty space and we're frequencies and waves. And those organize themselves into structures on a chemical physiological level or biological level. But you cannot, um, they, 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 they both interact and exchange at both, what I guess it'd be a nanochemical and subatomic level that have both benefits and consequences that were not maybe as widely understood. Of course, we talked about Chinese medicine and uh, yoga, Eastern philosophy stuff that talked about subtle energy bodies and electric things and a lot of people poo pooed all that stuff. And now it's come full circle as people aren't finding relief in normal pharmaceutical interjection uh, interventions or biochemical interjections. They're going to, you know, like I had all this pain, I did acupuncture, it changed my energy for things. But now we've entered this kind of new boogeyman, if you will, to the playing field. And that is EMFs. And EMFs, can you explain to people what EMFs are and specifically how they interact with the body and what the potential negative side effects, which is causing these challenges with a great number of people, not just elite athletes. It's just easy to check athletes because they're monitoring performance, maybe a little closer than the average person, but what's applied to them is also applicable to us. Could you kind of break that down for our listeners? Yeah, I mean, that's, a, that's an action-packed question right there. Yeah. So going back to basically how the universe works and how we're designed and how it's different than man-made EMF. We'll, we'll dive into that. Man-made EMF are one directional waveforms and they can be broken down in electricity, dirty electricity or wireless signals. And they're measured by the speed of a wavelength. So milligauss or magnetic resonance would be measured at 50 to 60 waves per second. Dirty electricity would be a little faster wavelength spectrum, 4,000, about 100,000 waves per second. Then you get dirty electricity, you're looking at the millions to billions of waves per second of one directional polarizing waveforms. They would not work, Wade, unless they were one directional. But the universe and us, we're one. We're made <clears throat> through scalar waves and we're designed to rev with waveforms that distribute equally in every direction. And that's the difference is when we're sleeping, our brainwave states at one or below one to eight Hertz or waves per second. So that's what those sleep trackers, whatever someone's sleeping tracking is, that's what they're monitoring. The cell phone is 2.45 billion waves per second. 5G is 60 to 90 billion waves per second of a one directional waveform. So when we look at how the universe is made, it's made through ether plasma, which these waveforms travel. That's how we're able to communicate. I'm in Newport Beach, like Orange County area, Southern California, Europe and Venice, but we're not that far, but we're still able to communicate and hear each other and see each other through waveforms and refraction of them. And that's the real big message here is waveform technology is how our body communicates through vibrational piezoelectric effects, like their natural communication of the body through thermal dynamics it, that our body communicates through waveforms and vibrations of it. And when you introduce a man-made one directional, it's super disruptive for the body. Mm -hmm. Excellent description. And so with the advent of these uh, one directional waves, you know, you'd classify them maybe as cell phones. Uh, was it satellite signals? Is it, uh, EM, you know, uh, your Wi-Fi connections? What are the biggest or most inflammatory EMFs that are disrupting people's health and vitality? Well, that uh, can be debatable. I think in a lot of ways, Dr. Martin Paul would say that the voltage-gated calcium channels open up when there's introduction to any one directional waveform no matter if it's low level non-ionizing or a faster bandwidth or speed of an ionizing waveform. So there's a voltage gated calcium channels that open up that lets positive calcium into a negative cell. It's a secondary response where it causes tremendous cell and DNA damage. 
that I'm seeing clinically in fascia and lack of sleep and, and cognitive challenges during performance. So it really doesn't matter. But the thing is, it's how full is that person full of toxicity, where they are with their life force and how resilient, what their blood type is. Oh, RHO blood type is way more resilient to EMFs, man-made, than, than other blood types. So it really depends on how full your bucket is of toxicity. And if you're methylating efficiently and, and then how, how well you really respond to it and how close of a proximity for how long, you know, if, if you had a history like I did in front of a, a copy machine, uh, now touching a touch screen, it's, it's super painful. So it really depends. And that's where the governments when really challenging is they don't really, they haven't been able to, or, or, or we haven't been able to say, Hey guys, this is it. I mean, this is what, like an LDL chart that you would have with pharmaceuticals that this, you test the pharmaceutical and you kind of know where the lethal dose is right. and then what the effective dosage. And there's a, there's a bell curve within that distribution of what is considered uh, safe with a reasonable amount of risks. And then you, you're overlaying that with individuals and individuals are distributed on a bell curve about how, uh, how much, uh, what intensity and what duration that they could maybe tolerate of these EMF waves, which the, the, the biggest challenge is we don't have that research widely distributed Second thing, there's a lot of, uh, I would say, counter groups that uh, are, if there are net detrimental effects, they, they were, they're going to try and bury that with a, their own counter narratives and their own counter science in order to maintain their business models. And then the third piece is, is the, where the individual falls on their own individual level of sensitivity. And with elite performers, if they're always kind of calculating what's what are the levers that are influencing my performance specifically whether that's nutrition or emfs or how they said like so so you know you have a sample group in that end i always call it the, it's it's the it's the formula one strategy like formula one is a very dangerous sport people are driving around at 200 miles an hour and and little buckets of cars but the technologies that's developed at that high-end performance, you know, are now improve your brakes or your handling systems or your monitoring systems inside your car. And so there's a trickle-down effect of high performers in that ultra-refined state. And so as someone who's worked with a lot of ultra-high performers, and you're now a voice of how people curate their own observational data, because we can't wait for another 20, 30 years as EMF starts it, well, it's, it's growing geometrically. Um, and so that model is going to continue to be skewed towards negative side effects, likely, unless some sort of mutative adaptive response happens in humans. And that might be several generations before something like would happen. So what are you suggesting people do um, in regards to, first off, what are the symptoms of negative EMF, if you can expand on them? And then what do you do to alternate them or to mitigate those challenges? Well, I, I'll answer that one. It's you just get grounded by nature. And, uh -huh. and, and so nature is designed to be our healing mechanism. There's a book called Electric Body, Electric Health by Eileen McCusick. Mm -hmm. And she talks about the body being a body battery where we get a positive ionic charge coming from the unpolarized light of the sun. And you get a negative ionic charge from the Schumann resonance, the healing pulse of the earth that ironically is about 7.83 hertz or waves per second. Pulsating up, we pull the electrons from it and we get this body battery recharged from being out in nature. This is the essence of how we facilitate healing. Our body needs to get both of those going. And Dr. Mercola wrote a book called your EMF. And when we put shoes on and electricity in our homes, and now they're dropping phased array you know, radiation, one directional waveforms above us, we're EMF'd because we're not getting outside and getting back to being that one with nature. So that's a huge part of, of, of that. 
Great. So along this line, so what are the strategies that you're employing for people who are noticing them, themselves being disrupted by EMF and what, what are they experiencing? Well, they're experiencing an array of symptoms. And that's why in 1996, to kind of backtrack, the government made procedural levels and they're just said, hey, if this EMF stuff is ionizing, it has to create a thermal effect. And then if there's a temperature increase, like your cells oscillate and when you put your food or something in the microwave, everything gets hot. That's the only time that they're going to say, whoa, that's too much for our bodies. But Dr. Martin Paul disproved that. It doesn't have to create a thermal effect for it to be non-enhancing for our body. So with this man-made challenge, what we see is array of different health challenges. I mean, it destructures your water. It dehydrates everything. I mean, you lose the destructure of your water. Your body doesn't know how to utilize it. It, it, it throws everything off. I clinically have seen the eyes, the teeth, the thymus, and your small intestine get decharged from man-made EMF. So those are the four primary areas that get decharged. And what does that mean? Well, it means that maybe one day you just won't wake up on your energy and just jump out of bed. Or maybe towards the afternoon, you're just saying, oh man, I just have this little fatigue. I just don't feel like I have that extra pop to go get a workout in or, or go do whatever I need to do. Those are the areas that do it. And we use our grounding bags. I'm sure we'll chat more about them uh, to get it, but you can tap on these with one hand while you cover the area that you want to recharge to recharge them. So it's an applied kinesiology, but there's a great way to recharge your body. Literally just go and get grounded by nature. Last night I jumped in the ocean. I, I actually do it every day because I live right at the beach, but it just recharges your body. That's what our bodies are designed to, to do. And then all the other cognitive stuff, which is the big list, focus, memory, behavior, anxiety, fatigue, stress, anger, all that frustration that happens cognitively, the, the lack of focus and, and the lack of sleep, all cognitive challenge are level one EMF toxicity. And then Wade, you go into level two, which would be more severe stuff like we'd see in the Havana cohort. It was the first attack of US embassy workers on foreign soil with microwave radiation. They experienced non-trauma concussion symptoms of nausea, fatigue, anxiety, massive migraines, muscle twitches, ringing in the ears, rashes on their skin. So that would be a more of a level two EMF direct poison. And then you get into the bigs, cancer, suicides, Alzheimer's, diabetes, cardiovascular challenges. And then the biggest one today is a lack of fertility. And now for a Bioptimizer's fixed digestion tip, how to get away with eating sugar. Hey, look, sugar is normally one of the worst things for you, but let's be honest. I mean, we all cheat from time to time. And here's a little trick that will ensure your body benefits from the sugar. Now, before you eat or drink anything sweet, take five to eight capsules of P3OM. The patented stream in the formula devours sugar so fast, it literally doubles in the body every 20 minutes in the presence of sugar. That doesn't mean that you can or you should eat a bunch of sugar or sit around all day doing that. But on the days that you do cheat or you go and go after one of those maybe meals that you wouldn't normally do, this ensures that you get something in your gut that eats the sugar. And it's not going to feed the bad guys or spike your blood glucose nearly as much. So to learn more about P3OM and its sugar devouring and protein digesting properties and how it can transform your gut and metabolism, go to www.bioptimizers.com. Wow. So you're tracing this with fertility uh, issues. Wow. That's, that's pretty wild. And of course, that's a widespread problem uh, in almost all industrialized countries. And so we do know that the process of industrialization tends to drop birth rates. And there's a lot of theories around it, but you're saying one of the contributing factors may very well be EMFs. Yeah, it's been proven for that over and over again. Bioinitiative.org has thousands of studies with 200 scientists in 40 countries. And the list just keeps growing. You see wow. the population replenishment depleting 
from the EMF challenges. The only way it's the only reason it's staying level right now is immigration. It's not because we're mm -hmm. our reproductive organs are working. Your the sperm and women's eggs absorb ten times the amount of radiation than any other part of the body. They're literally uh, an antenna for it, and wow. so. And the women, they don't reproduce their ovaries. They have them for their life. The guys can reproduce sperm. So you can probably build back your chi, maybe change some of those mutations that have taken place or the lesser count. The women, not so much. Oh, devastating for so many people. Um, so what are some things that people can do to start mitigating that you've learned over the years? And, and I know you've got a bunch of products as well that you've uh, cultivate it and develop to offset these experiences, uh, particularly if you're in a situation that has high EMFs. Can you break that down for us and kind of give us some tips for our listeners? Yeah, definitely. Uh, there's people that think blocking is the answer and there that is really helpful in certain situations. So if you have a cell tower right on the other side of your wall or a smart meter right on the other side of the wall, hey, maybe think of painting that wall with EMF tint and deflecting it the other way. Have tint on a window or EMF curtains that deflect it the other way. So if there's a one directional wave coming right at you, that, that's a good solution. But to coexist with this man-made stuff, what, what I did is I looked to mother nature to solve this challenge. Because there's this thing called physics, which is so beautiful. We can convert a one directional waveform to something that distributes equally in every direction that's unpolarized. And that's what's so cool about what nature designed for us. So we hand mine these crystals. They have moisture and magnetic properties inside them. And shungite, amethyst, black tourmaline, the other known Tesla rocks that have uh, magnetic resonances to help with EMF, they only have the, the magnetic properties. We have the moisture because they were compressed from an underground water source. The combination between the two makes those exponentially stronger at converting waveforms naturally the way mother nature does. So we found this really special place on the planet in the Western US, we hand mine these crystals. So the quality of the stone, the way we mine them and the way we deploy them is the one of the, are all combined for the reasons of why they're so effective and we sell them at doctor clinics all around the country for helping people get into those deep restorative sleeps because that's where the healing begins. We also, as I mentioned before, you can tap on them to clear your biofield because Bruce Lipton will say, way that your health lies in your chi and mm -hmm. your life force and your energy field. Chemistry in the body would be secondary in a lot of ways. So what I found is if someone's toxic and has too much EMF exposure in their energy field, we can flush that just through grounding or tapping. That's why part of the reason why I feel so better, so much better when I jump in the ocean every day mm -hmm. and we can duplicate it. Not everyone has the Pacific ocean right out their door to be able to do that. So that's why we you know, roll these out. You can carry them with you. You can put one on your bed or underneath your bed, lean against the leg of the bed. You can put five together to clear 2,000 square feet in your home. If you're driving an electric car, you're going to want to have at least six or seven in the car because, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I haven't read in any health book. And I know you're one of the biggest health guys you know, that I've talked to in the last decade. There's nowhere that it says sitting on a massive battery is good for your health in any book that I've ever read. No, and I, I know that some of my uh, friends, like uh, people through Paul Check and stuff, they're people who have actually built uh, battery-powered uh, things like to offset the battery-powered cars because this is, this is an issue that I don't think people have thought through very clearly, that you're sitting on a giant electromagnetic frequency generator which with unknown consequences. Yeah. Well, it's great that you're addressing that. The consequences, let me share what they are. I had a colleague do blood work. He was working only with professional athletes. That's how I met him. He got a, hired by military to work with special forces to do blood analysis for him. He threw in a variable of guys driving electric cars and gals. It was his biggest marker change weight, 18% lower testosterone for wow. guys driving electric cars. 
Wow. That's so. what it does. So you take a perfectly healthy person, put them in the car, and then if they took the jab that's going around, that's 20% lower testosterone from the doctors that I'm working with as well are saying from their patient base, from measuring blood before and after. You take a perfectly healthy person, you put them in a very dangerous compromised state. Wow. So um, with these uh, EMF rocks, I've got some. So how do people get access to them and utilize them in the life? And how, how would they implement them in their houses? Oh, emfrocks.com. We sell them at doctor clinics all around the country. Protocols are simple. Tap on them when you get them and cover your eyes, teeth, thymus, and below your belly button, your small intestine first. I always recommend that because it integrates you with the crystals. It clears your biofield and it recharges your body because when good meets evil, it's going to clash. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's just how this, this physics work. But once you can clear that toxicity out of your field, you'll really integrate well and sleep with them. So that's how you start to use them one on or under your bed, desk, car seat, uh, and, and then five together in a home, clear 2000 square feet. And then if you have solar, you're going to need seven together in a home. Again, depending on the level of stressor in your home or proximity to it, you just add more grounding bags as needed. Any other tips that people can use to offset EMF? Get grounded by nature. I mean, literally, that's the first thing, just understanding that for your body, you have to have that balance in your life. That's the first thing. So, and then proximity awareness would be the next thing understand what the stressors are. So wait, we have electricity in our home. So guess what? Get a timer on your switch, your power, your power panel that your electricity turns off in your bedrooms at night when you're sleeping. Number one, super simple. Get a timer on your router. The same as like a Christmas tree timer or the lights Turn on and off at a certain time. Really super simple concepts. So when you're going to bed, at least your body isn't trying to figure out, like something's tapping it on the shoulder, trying to figure out what's pinging it all night long. That's why people don't get into this deep restorative sleep. It's because we wake up, there's a bandwidth coming in at 2.45 billion waves per second, plus all the other devices, Alexa, you know, cell phones, smart meters, and the ring, AC doorbell, you know, Nest AC unit. So the list goes on and on and on of all these devices. You, you add those 2.45 together. They're always looking for you to talk to it. So that's why they're considered smart. They're waiting for you to ping it, go, hey, do this for me. Yeah. Shut that stuff down at night. Go back into this quiet, low and slow bandwidth that we're more one with nature and get that stressor out of your world. Convert your smart meter. A smart meter on a home is an automated gas and electric meter. It sends out a signal every seven to 15 seconds, about 2.45 billion waves per second going in your home, metering everything in your home, and then sending it to the substation. That pulsing and waiting is so much more disruptive. Josh Del Sol did a documentary movie called Take Back Your Power. Highly mm -hmm. recommend everyone watch it. Foresaw everything that's kind of come down the pipeline. But they're able to know that's a huge privacy challenge. They're able to know what your usage is every second of the day. That's why at least here in California, you're able to opt out of it more for privacy than for health. So use that to do it. But those are the simple, subtle tips I would not recommend solar on your home. Solar stores a battery, stores electricity in a battery. That's dirty electricity. That's sparking in the line. That's battery is attempting to give you the output that you're looking for. It's similar as a dim switch. If we plugged in a Stetzer electric meter into the wall and checked your dirty electricity, the levels would go up and down when you move the dim switch up and down. When it's up at a full voltage, it's not going to be as much static that when it's in the middle. And when there's, and then obviously check your wiring in your home, make sure the, the outlets, everything's grounded properly. Most of the stuff, Wade, it's a manufacturing challenge. Quite honestly, that's what 
And that's what Stetzer, Dave Stetzer will say. It's a manufacturing challenge. They're taking shortcuts for their own pocketbooks and at our health expense. So make sure you're grounded, your stuff's grounded. We just moved in a home. There's, a, I bought a house that had a transformer nearby. The, I made the gas and electric company go in and check the transformer. It took six months for them to figure out what was wrong with it. I had kept Kevin and come back and come back and come back. Finally, the guy's like, man, it's a train wreck down here. Someone finally went underground to see what was going on. And it was, it was causing lots of magnetic resonance, you know, in our home, dirty electricity in our home. And I knew it because I had the meters. I'm going, this isn't right. So guys got to fix it. So make sure you're looking at the lines going in and out of a junction, because if they don't meet, if these signals don't meet going in and out, you're going to have lots of dirty signals in your home. Where can people find out more information, get your rocks and find out uh, some of the data points that you had suggested so they can do their own due diligence and get more into uh, your messaging? Because I think you're doing a great work in the world. Oh, thanks. Yeah, EMF rocks is, is where we're seeing a lot of these you know, products kind of come to market. And I have blog posts. I mean, I, I'm on podcasts all the time talking with doctors and experts like you sharing this message. So that's where you can get a lot of information on it. But these are these are just level, you know, entry entry level information that are a one hundred and one for people to learn about. Just what I shared. Justin, you've done a great uh, service to us all. Of course, we've got all of the links here in the show notes at the Awesome Health Podcast for Bioptimizers. I hope you enjoyed this session and take EMF seriously. Protect yourself. Protect your family. It will pay in the long run. In 10, 20, 30 years from now. Uh, Everyone will see that you were a genius far before they ever could. So thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate you. I'm Waitie Lightheart from Bioptimizers and the Awesome Health Podcast. If you like this, share it. If you have your questions and concerns, reach out to us on the BioTribe or support at bioptimizers.com. I'd love to hear. I read through all your comments and we reply to your questions. Thank you so much for joining us today. Take care and have yourself an awesome day. The Bioptimizer mission is to help more of the world fix their digestion at a core level. The truth is your digestion is only as good as your enzyme levels. Imagine trying to build a house with a tree. It's impossible. You need to chop the tree down into small pieces. Similarly, in order for your food to be used by your body, it must be broken down into a bioavailable form. And that's what enzymes do, converting protein into amino acids, fats into specific fatty acids, and carbohydrates into usable energy units. We start out with an abundance of enzymes, and that's why kids can digest just about anything really quickly. The thing is, is cooking food kills enzymes as they cannot survive at temperatures above 118 degrees. So years of this ends up depleting our bodies and leads to weak digestion. Taking digestive enzymes like masszymes, which has an incredibly high level of protease for digesting protein, as well as other critical enzymes like lipase, amylase, and others is a total game changer. Suddenly, you strengthen your digestion, eliminate gas and bloating, boost metabolism, and multiply your energy. Most importantly, you fix your digestion at a core level. To get started with Masszymes and to save 10% on your first order, go to Masszymes.com. That's M-A-S-S-Z-Y-M-E-S dot com and use the code MASS10, M-A-S-S-1-0. Thank you for listening to the Bioptimizer's Awesome Health Podcast. You can find more information at bioptimizers.com.